and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm Georgia and so happy that you're with us today. We want to welcome you if you're watching the rebroadcast. We have a terrific show. We are going to announce our winners from last week. All those crafting friends who commented and liked have been put in a, a pool, and we are going to randomly select one. Actually, two people. Yay! So, I want to remind you that Maudie, my sister, is over in the chat room, and she wants to chat with you and say hello and answer any questions. And our second part that we will be doing first, actually, is we're going to create a note card using our Wisteria Wishes. Now, note cards are typically much smaller and ours is gonna be a three by four. You can use these for anything. You can use them for gifts if you're giving a lot of gifts and you just wanna create a really quick note card. Maybe you want a name plate for your table decor or maybe you just want a little note card that you can pop on someone's desk and brighten their day. So we're gonna make our note cards first and then we're going to have our drawings for two winners, yay! And those winners will receive a stamp set and some happy mail from us. So once your name is um, drawn and we say it online, just go ahead and email me your address so that we can get you that happy mail in the mail. But right now, let's go ahead and head down to the crafting table and get started with our note cards. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do to create these note cards is you need to take an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and we're just gonna cut it down to an eight by nine. So let's go ahead and extend that arm and just cut this on the short side to eight inches. And then we are going to cut this side down to nine. Okay, nine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and score this at four on the short side. And that will just make sure all our note cards are going to be ready to fold in half. We have that score line. Now go ahead and turn it. And we're just going to cut this at three. This will make three note cards. A three inch. Cut it at three again. And now we have our three note cards. So incredibly easy. Now we're just gonna fold those over. We're just gonna crease them, give them a good crease. And it's so easy to make these note cards. Oh my goodness. So let's just bring in a piece of paper and let's get to stamping. We are going to now just stamp our branch right at the top and we already have everything on our acrylic blocks and we will be using Garden Green, Rich Razzleberry, and Gorgeous Grape. Good morning. Uh, is that golf? Mary, good morning. So happy that you're joining us. We're just making some very quick note cards that oh are so beautiful. So let's just get this inked up. Now, I will tell you to go ahead and put a post-it note right here so that you don't go over onto the back side. You don't wanna do that. And we're just gonna line these up because we're going to make these three very quickly and they all have the same design on them. So let's ink that up. Let's go ahead and just Stamp that. We're gonna stamp our next one in line. Move it down to the third card. Go ahead and just stamp that, creating this beautiful note card. And I forgot, <laughs> I was talking to Mary, and I forgot to put my post-it note right there. You'll want to make sure and do that so that you do not have this mark on the back side of your card. Now, we need to add some more leaves. 
And all we're going to do is take this and put this right in the corner of our ink pad just to get that little bit of leaf. Go ahead and just have a little bit there. I think I want just a little bit right there. And now we have some additional leaves, which I think is so pretty. We're going to go ahead and put the post-it note right there, move this up, and just ink in that corner. Get some more leaves. Just the corner again. And there we have it. And now we're going to put the post-it note again. Hi, Gloria. Thanks for joining us. We're going to just ink that up, get some more leaves, put it right there. It looks so much better when you have a little bit more. Now, we're simply going to bring in our wisteria and get that stamped for these beautiful note cards. And we are using that gorgeous grape. Oh, this is such a beautiful stamp. Let's go ahead and just line that up. Hold it for good contact. Line it up again. And finally, this last one. And now we're gonna add the definition. So we're using the Rich Razzleberry to add a little bit of definition to the beautiful Wisteria. So we're gonna come in with that stamp and just stamp. You can stamp off or you can do full strength. Either one I think looks so pretty. This one will just do full strength. And you can see how quickly you can make these cards. Oh my goodness, you, in a minute you could probably make three. Now we're simply going to use the Rich Razzleberry for our sentiment. And we're gonna put that right in the corner. You wanna make sure and you get it lined up exactly straight. Let's put that right there. There we have it. Get this lined up in the corner. Do one more. And there we have our beautiful note cards. Very simple to create. You can hang this on a package or like I said, you could simply add it to a gift, drop it by someone's desk to really brighten their day, right? Hey Jackie, so happy that you're here. Hey Ann, welcome. I'm just looking very quickly to see who we have. Great. Well, that's our note cards for today. We just wanted to make some quick note cards. Let's go ahead and just leave these right here. And now, let's have our drawing. Let me go back right here. Let me see. Okay. We're going to have Maudie use our uh, randomly comment picker. She has everybody's comments. It automatically picks it. And now Maudie is going to draw a winner. Remember, this winner's going to receive some happy mail. So Maudie, go ahead and draw our first winner from last Tuesday's uh, video. Okay, round and round we go. And here's the card we made. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you have that stamp set, but it is such a pretty stamp set. Now, we are going to have our next drawing next week, Tuesday at 10. <laughs> Do they look better than the real wisteria? Oh my goodness. I My mother grew wisteria, but I've never grown wisteria, so I'm pretty sure it's kind of hard. Okay, Monty is spinning the wheel. The first winner is Cherie Shell. Cherie Shell liked and she left a comment. So Cherie, please take a moment.
send me a message uh, on Facebook or however you want to send it. Get me the, your address so that we can send you some happy mail. Okay, and our second winner, let's see. Maudie, if you would spin that wheel. The second winner, let's see. Yes, uh-huh. Okay, we have the first winner. Yay, Cherie, that's right. And we just appreciate everyone's comments that they made on our uh, technique videos that we had last week. We hope that you enjoyed the bubbles, suds and bubbles. Oh, that makes such a beautiful, beautiful card. In fact, you know, let's just look at that card again. That's from the suds and bubbles. I just love that. I just, uh, we just really just, and the second winner, yay! Melissa Becht. If, I hope I said that right. We uh, want to tell you, please leave us a message with your address so that we can send you some happy mail. Well, our crafting friends, we hope that you join us on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. We have another great card to make with you. And we hope that you go out and have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for stopping by. Please take a moment to leave us a comment below this video. We sure would appreciate it. And help us grow our channel. If you haven't already, subscribe and share this channel with your friends. Go out and make it a great weekend. Bye-bye.